Well, hello out there in YouTube land. This is installment two of the axe project. And this is going to be the painting of the axe head. So stick around and we'll get right to it. This is Surviving 2 coming to you with another video. Well, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Uh, like I said in the first part, this is going to be the axe head painting. And first, I want to kind of go through a little background. Uh, first video, I never did show you or tell you a whole lot about the background. This project actually started, uh, let me think, uh, back May 16th. When I was going to get a hammer, I keep all my hammers and other odd and end stuff in a bucket, and it's in my tool shed. And I went to grab the hammer, but I had to move the ax, and I picked it up, and this is what I found. Okay, I got a bit of a problem with my ax. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the sheath uh, it's kind of gone bad. So, got to make a new one. This back when I made it a long time ago, I only had limited materials. So, I'm going to work on uh, making it a lot better. So, here we go. Well, you see why I had to go ahead and repair that and work on it and everything. And that kind of started me down a rabbit hole. <laughs> but I also wanted to kind of upgrade it a little bit as long as I was having to do that and make some other modifications to it and, like I say, upgrade it. So. But first I had to go ahead, go ahead and paint the head or do something to the head. And my first thought was go ahead and kind of, I wanted to polish the head, but there's no way, could, no way I could polish the head because I guess the head was cast or something. I don't know what was up with it. So my second thought was go ahead and paint it. And I decided to go ahead and go back with the way it was stock and it was painted black. So I decided to go back with it that way. And now that leads me to this portion of a video I made back on May 27th when I actually did paint the head and You'll see these clips here as I was painting it. All right, I've got the primer put on the ax head. I had enough leeway yesterday that I could get the primer on there at about 53% humidity. And I went ahead and put painter's blue tape on there and about 10 inches, uh, maybe 12 inches, uh, their trim tape, trim tape, trim paper on there too to cover the handle. And this is that etching primer. So, and I also got it sanded down. So now it's time for Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. And we'll get that shot on here. And I got about, I think it's about 53% of humidity today. So what I'm gonna do is start at the bottom, work my way up to the top, and then do the top here against the fence, holding it like that, do one half, and then flip it around, do the other half. So let's get at it. Couple of light coats. <laughs> Flip it over. Just 
Stay about 12 to 16 inches away from it. Staying downwind of it, or upwind of it. Uh, there we go. It's not perfect yet. Should be able to give that about two or three minutes of drying time and then hit it with another shot of it and then about three coats of that and that should do pretty good so once I get those three coats on there I'll come back to you and we'll let you see the final shot of it in good daylight so give me a minute and we'll get after it All right, here we go. I've got the finished gloss coat, and as you can see, that's a nice shine. Looking pretty good on that side and that side. It's a nice bright shine, so yeah. Now all I gotta do is, once it sets real good, which that'll be uh, 24 hours or a little more, depending on this humidity. I'm gonna let it set for a pretty good while. Then I'll pull all this tape and the paper off and go ahead and work on the handle itself. And then that should pretty much set it. And that'll be pretty good. So I got one issue. There's cottonwood trees around here and I have got a cottonwood fur ball in here. Ha <laughs> ha! Figures. Now that's what you get for painting outside. So, oh well. On to the other stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Well, you'll see me in just a few seconds. Well, there you go. And that was me painting the ax head. And you gotta understand one thing. During the month of May, there were 19 days out of 30 that we were having rain. <laughs> that was a really wet month. So I was having to take advantage of the dry days when I could. <laughs> and I think I did pretty good that primer was an etching primer so it should have you know etched its way into the metal and held on pretty good and then the paint that I put on top of it that gloss black should have held on pretty good so it should do pretty good and then the axe handle I painted it later on and you can see some of the photographs that I posted if you go to my main YouTube page and click on the community tab you'll see some of the photographs I posted there that'll show the handle itself there's only a few like four something like that and there's one I think of the axe head itself that's there and you can see them. I didn't do any video of the axe handle. So when I get going on some of the other videos of doing the overstrike guard, uh, I'll be doing actual video of that. But, you know, I apologize for not having the axe head and frame, but I figure most of y'all know how to spray paint. <laughs> so anyway, that's it on this. Uh, when I get going on some of the other stuff, you know, I'll try and do a little better job on the video. And <laughs> so that's about it on this.
trying to get back into the swing of things uh, now that I'm doing a lot better so y'all hang in there out there and I'll be getting more stuff put out I still got quite a bit of stuff in the queue to do on other stuff so I'll see y'all on the next ones y'all take care out there later Out there in YouTube land I've got a little ditty going on here that was forced upon me by time <laughs> and damn it you would get your little head in the way wouldn't you got to get your ass up here in the middle of everything I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.